This is the Artisan Cutlery Proponent. It's been on the market a while now, and you've probably seen it in different iterations. This one happens to be green, but black is common. There's also titanium. There was a big brass handled version of it. Um, it's a Dirk Pinkerton design. It's a big, beefy, monstrous Warncliffe folder. Um, and this little guy is the proponent subsize. Uh, same thing, scaled down. And I do mean scaled down. It's not just that it's a shorter blade. It's that everything, the hardware, the proportions, the thickness, everything has been scaled down a little. Uh, this is different than what I'm used to seeing. Uh, for example, with the Spyderco Yojimbo 2, the smaller version came first, and then the larger Yojumbo came out a little later, uh, which was a scaled up version of the Yojimbo, except it wasn't scaled in every dimension. It was longer, sure, and taller, but not substantially thicker in the handle or the spine. Same compression lock, same hardware, same pocket clip. Everything about the proponent and the proponent subsize is different. Uh, even the pocket clip, look. Same design, but scaled down. The size of the flipper tab scaled down. The size of the pivot is scaled down. The size of the thumb stud scaled down. Well, even though this seems like a much smaller knife, because everything about it is smaller, the actual cutting edge is not that much smaller. Which makes this a much more practical EDC knife. Uh, it's still got a pretty good four-finger handle, right? It's got even little sort of prescriptive cutouts for your fingers, just like the larger version. They're a little closer together, but my fingers still find that uh, channel that uh, is milled into the G10, and the, the grip is still comfortable and this is basically just a larger utility knife. I mean, larger than a utility knife, than a typical utility knife, smaller than its big brother. For EDC, I think this uh, sub-size proponent makes a lot of sense.